Hello. Hi. These are a ser series of videos we're going to do for the respiratory care department at NYU. Um, we are going to make a few videos. This first one is just an introduction to the isolate from a respiratory care perspective, what's going on with the isolate and what we need to know. We're going to have follow-up videos discussing regular conventional ventilation, high frequency ventilation, nitric oxide along with conventional ventilation, and nitric oxide with high frequency ventilation. So to start, this is just a discussion of the isolate. Um, we have four tanks, two air and two oxygen in the back here, and we have two sets of hoses. The first set of hoses is the curlies, what we call the curly hoses, and these are what we use to hook into the ambulance uh, when we get into the ambulance. The ambulance has what we consider wall oxygen or really just H tanks, um, but what we would think of as wall oxygen. We use the straight tubings to get from the ICU bed to the ambulance, from the ambulance to the ICU bed. So when we're transporting, we use the straight tubings and these tanks. When we're fixed in a space, we use the curlies for wall oxygen or ambulance oxygen and air. All right, so we're just gonna attach our hoses with the straight tubing to the back here. All right. All right, on this isolate, this is a isolate. This is right here. This is an isolate uh, for neonatal transportation. So basically really five kilograms babies and less. Anything bigger, we're gonna probably be on a stretcher with an LTV. Um, so you go through the side port tubings, so side port holes here. You can pull this all the way down. You could access the baby over here. And in the back here, um, this connection, you can also reach the baby from the back here as well. All right. On the isolate underneath, we have what we call the cross vent ventilator. This is our conventional ventilator. This here is for the isolate warming and nursing sort of manages this, this section here. It has to do with the isolate. And this is our vitals. Nursing also manages this, but this is where we'll see our saturations and our heart rates and such. So really we're talking about our cross vent ventilator right here. We also have this piece right here, which is called the TXP2D. This is our high frequency ventilator. So these are separate items. This is for high frequency ventilation. This is for conventional ventilation. In the back here, if you can get a good close look, we have, this is the curlies going in here. These are the straights going in here. They all connect to a blender. They all connect through this flow meter. Everything is connected through the same source. So anytime you're doing FiO2 changes, no matter what you're doing, this is your blender. Very important, once you connect in the back um, on those straight connectors, you have to turn on and make sure you're on. This is the off position now, on, on. Air and oxygen below. This is talking only about the straight connectors. And so the idea is that we have the straight connectors connected to the tanks back there. We turn them on and on and we activate our device. And when we get in the ambulance, we then connect our curlies to the ambulance wall oxygen. And instead of unhooking the straight, we could just cut off the air and cut off the oxygen. This way we don't, we don't drain our tank. So this is referring just to the straight connectors on on. So we want to make sure we're connected, we want to make sure we're on and on. Over here we have a knob that's in the middle. It's bringing air to neither conventional or high frequency. If it's pointed up, the air source, gas source, is going to conventional. If it's pointed down, you'll hear some noise. The gas source is going to the high frequency. This is the high frequency outlets. This is the conventional outlets and we'll discuss that in a Another video. We have nitric oxide tanks right here, which we will also discuss, and our nitric oxide system here, 
We have our suction system over here. We have an uh, outlet strip, which one cable from the outlet strip connects into the wall. So you would plug in one item, it plugs in every item. Everything should be plugged into the strip, and the strip is what we plug in and out. Um, okay, that's an overview. And now um, we'll have another video. We'll talk about conventional ventilation.